This is the third episode of 100 Days Survival on a Plane in a Natural Disasters Apocalypse. Today, a total change in the world is awaiting. There will be an event after which the whole map will turn into a lifeless wasteland filled with mutants and new locations. There will even be a plot twist, after which I'm not sure that I'll be able to survive. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do it right now. In the last episode of our survival, I found this strange tree in the middle of a flying island. Everything would be fine, but in there, I found a secret button. And after pressing it, a portal appeared inside the tree. I decided to go into it and appeared in a location completely unknown to me. This survival is getting more and more frightening. I just went into a tree and appeared in some house. In the first bedside table I came across, I saw a book and quill, which said that nearby was the lair of some terrible monster that drags tourists away at night. At the moment, I got a little lost, because I didn't understand at all where my plane was, and in general, where exactly I was as well. Going out into the street, I noticed that I was in some kind of tourist camp, or it could even be called a recreation center. Old house, looks quite abandoned. Where did you come from? Oh my god, and there's even monsters here. So, okay, I already want to find this monster. Let's loot a couple more houses, maybe we'll find some evidence. Oh, and there's sausages here, I'll take them. Oh look, this seems to be a summer kitchen. There's even a grill here. Hi everyone, this is Zeman's cooking show. Show. And today, I'll teach you how to cook sausages on the grill. Let's go! To get started, we need sausages and a great grill that you see right here in front of your screen. We throw a coal on the grill and start frying our sausages. And now, the sausages are ready. Having fooled around a little, I noticed some building on the mountain. Most likely, it was a bathhouse. And the note that I found said that just the same monsters sometimes appear near it. In fact, I still didn't understand at all where I ended up. And most importantly, where my plane was located. The most important vehicle in this survival. But as they say, since I'm already here, I need to work with what I have and find that monster. Maybe if I beat it, I can go back. So guys, in short, it doesn't really look like a bathhouse. Just some kind of house. Oh, there's a monster right here. Maybe if I feed him pizza. Where, where are you going? I just gave you a pizza. After waiting out the night, on the morning of day 49, I observed a huge batch of monsters. And then I finally found that bathhouse that the note was mentioning. The monster that I'm looking for is not in here. Well, at least there's some wood. I I decided to just look for the lair of the monster around the place. After several killed monsters and some time, I actually found it. Okay guys, I don't know how this all has to do with the apocalypse, but we found some kind of lair and I see something in there. Is that a huge snail? Seriously? Are you friendly? Oh, oh, oh no, oh my god. I gotta be careful, this is- what kind of snail is this? This giant snail really freaked me out, but I still managed to beat it. The most interesting thing is that it dropped a talisman of the necromancer. It seems to me that this thing can be used somewhere at our airport. The day was coming to an end, and so I decided to return to my base as soon as possible. So I picked a random house and went to bed. Waking up on the morning of day 50, I decided to return home as soon as possible. There was no plane nearby, so I decided to run to the coordinates. And it turned out to be possible. It turns out that the portal simply teleported us to some distant court, but in fact, we were in the same world. Oh boy, home sweet home, my super smelter. Okay, I'll try to fly down on my boat, easy. After such a long journey, I was very happy to be home. So right now, I'll try to put everything into chest and try to use that item that I got from the monster. And I wanted to use it on one of the doors, which was on the roof of my airport. So I decided to immediately go there. Let's climb up and one. And two, and three. What kind of bowl is that? What did he forget here, guys? Okay, I have a potato. Look at how happy he is. Emergency unit. Uh, I probably need to go in there. The talisman seems to fit the name. So, oh, nice. Wait, what do you want from me? Go away. Okay, he probably just wants more potatoes. Just take them. Going inside the small room, I was in for a pretty big surprise. Remove the water from the map? Attention, when removing the water, all water dungeons will be removed. I mean, it's pretty some news that I can pump out the water, but I haven't found everything around here yet, so I need to go there and do just that. New day. On day 52, I decided to loot a couple of dungeons. It's like I haven't been here yet. Oh my god, you purple. Careful. Okay, uh, I gotta run, I gotta run. Okay, let me try hitting it with an axe. Come on. Whoa. Okay, what do we have in the chest? A median sword, iron ingots, that meat. By the way, the sword is pretty strong. I might even use it. Having dealt with all the monsters, I looted a couple of locations and dismantled my super smelter. And then I went to that lever. Okay, come what may, guys. Let's pull that lever already. Oh! At that moment, my game began to lag a lot. And when the lag finally stopped, I went out into the street and there was no more water. Oh my god, look! I thought this moment would never come. All the water is gone. 
that's it. I can walk and run everywhere. First of all, on day 54, I went to go get some wood because before that, it was very difficult to do that. I can't even imagine what our next natural disaster is gonna be, but we definitely cope with the tsunami and the flood. And on day 55, I also decided to go to the flying islands and finally pick up my plane because without it, it is very difficult to move around, even after all the water is already gone. New day. In the morning, I decided to restore my farm and finally plant everything with seeds because the food was already running out. When all of a sudden, this happened. As the clouds are coming, new dungeons have appeared in the world. What does that mean? What is this? Do you see what color the drops are? I didn't even have time to think of anything. Just some kind of acid rain immediately started, which as it turned out later, completely changed my entire survival. It's the first time I've seen anything like this. It even deals damage. Okay, I need to get home as soon as possible. Run, 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 run. Oh my God, I'm barely alive. Look at what's outside the window. Some kind of chemical protection suit has appeared. Look. Okay, I need to go get it. Okay, oh my God, I just need to pick it up and run back. Oh, half HP, guys. Half HP. Uh, and who is that? What are these new mutants? I need to eat. I'm scared. Along with the new acid rain, two new markers appeared on the map, which I decided to explore straight away. Something tells me that our survival is now in a nuclear apocalypse, not an elemental one. Looking at the map from the sky, I realized that the whole map had turned into just a wasteland. I don't know how we'll continue to survive, because there is absolutely nothing alive on the map. Only monsters and new mutants who just want to kill me. Five minutes, the flight is normal, moving into the first mark. Overall, flying around the map on an airplane, I couldn't believe that everything looks completely different. The location on the markers looked very futuristic and apocalyptic, but unfortunately I couldn't land there because there was simply nowhere. New day. Of course, it was difficult to get used to this apocalypse, but it was necessary. So today I wanted to walk around and see what had changed, in addition to the appearance of new mutants. He's hiding behind a birch tree. Look at him. Okay, okay, I'll just get out of here. A huge number of small dungeons appeared on the map. For example, this sewer full of acid as well as some crab. Oh my god, what? Why are you attacking me? Leave me alone. You, what do you need? This pipe is kind of strange. I think I'll just close it. After fighting with the crabs a little bit more, I decided to go even further. And by the end of the day, I reached the first point. Oh, wow, it's massive. There are no monsters yet, which is good. Oh, a fight broke out. Ah, oh, guys, these monsters are firing from all sides. It's probably a little safer in here. With the right tactics, these monsters can be easily dealt with. I quickly killed them and went to explore the location. There is some very cool furniture here. Let's take this chair. Oh, chest, ammo, food. I think that the skeleton does doesn't need this couch anymore. I'll take it. Collecting the chairs and tables, it began to get dark, and I realized that I was spending the night here. Good morning, guys. Oh, they're fighting again. I think they don't like each other that much. I'll let them fight for now, and I'll continue exploring the location. What's good is that I found a lot of food and ammo here. Parkour! Okay, if I try, I might be able to go through. I'll just go carefully. Oh, ammo! So far, I didn't really understand why this mark was there, or what I had to do, or to find. Those pterodactyls again! Oh, come on! Can you just turn away? Wait, fire! Next, I found one very cool thing that could possibly help with this acid rain. Disperse the clouds? Let's press it. Uh, Nothing happened. Oh, I think I need to pull the same lever in a second location. Now let's do this. Uh, wait, where are you going? Come back. Okay, let's go down the old-fashioned way. Water drop number two. Ow, what, who, where, where? What are you doing in there? Are you hiding from me? On the following day, I got to the next point. And just as usual, I was greeted by a huge number of monsters. 2 HP, 2 HP, I gotta go to the second second floor quick i don't really know what to expect here oh cookie that's great oh uh, what is this what is this mushroom do you want some bread wait why are you running away well he's gone all right with the help of barricades i defended myself from the monsters and decided to wait out the night in this building on the morning of day 60 after killing the remaining monsters i went to look for the lever where is this lever oh my god oh what is this oh wow this is an entrance to some kind of bunker i have no idea what could be in there but knowing my team oh my god at that moment I probably thought that this is where the lever could be. Ammo, some weird ingots, I'll take it anyway. So this is our first door, let's go in. Empty. Oh, there's a chest here with ammo in it, nice. Okay, that's all fine, but where's the lever? If you're hearing what I'm hearing, I feel like there's going to be a fight. As soon as I opened the door, I was attacked by a good number of mutants. I had to use up almost half of all my ammo. <sighs> That was the last one. Nice. In the chest, we have a bio gun and ammo for it. And I also found an a a a a Anthony? What? What is this? After dealing with all the mutants, I finally found the lever. Oh, the lever? Come on. Oh, let's go check on the surface. Oh my god, the rain is over. The radioactive rain is over. Let's go. The only thing, of course, is that the earth is still scorched. I think there's probably nothing to be done about it. Okay, Anthony. 
Let's go home. Yeah, we got rid of the rain and now we can safely walk around the area. But I'm sure that my team has still prepared a lot of unexpected things for me. I decided to wait out the night in that same building. But because of the monsters, I couldn't sleep at all. On the morning of day 61, I decided to return back to my airport. But I just forgot how to go back. And as a result, I stumbled upon some location that I'd never seen before. Uh, what? How is there grass there? Let's get closer. Oh my god, look. I can grab the grass and replant the entire place. As as I later realized, there will be many such locations on the map. My team created them so I could terraform some locations. For example, my airport. Oh, we have a ladder here. Hey, get off me, crap. Fence, god damn it, don't scare me. A box, nice. A golden apple and a bio tank, great. Since it was already dark, I decided to wait out the night in this pipe. And at that moment, the coolest idea came to my mind. What if I actually try to terraform the area around my base? I think that would be a really cool idea. On the morning of day 62, I was finally able to reach my base, but it was a little bit tricky because I was a bit lost. And mutants continue to spawn around the world. I definitely needed a good fence. So I'll sort everything out and start building. Oh, oh my god, where did you come from? What kind of prank is this? Okay, I really don't know how mods work here at all. Guys, I came up with a name for him. Mushroom Volodya. Now you live here. But I hope you won't kill me at night. And here, Anthony will live in a frame. Guys, I think I'm going crazy. But it turned out that I I didn't have any resources for construction, especially wood. But it's good that I could safely go and get it though. Oh my god, guys, just look. I can run and there's no water. I'm very glad that this whole tsunami story is finally over. I could calmly walk around, but trouble came very unexpectedly. A tornado started right next to me. By the way, I don't know how many stacks we can use for- What? Oh, oh my god, a tornado started right here. Come on. Okay, we came through it. I just need to not fly out of it at the wrong moment. I, I just need to burn myself. I just need to dig. It's still spinning me around. Throughout the soul survival, this tornado was spinning me the longest. I tried to cling onto a tree, but all to no avail. But at some point, I finally managed to do it. This tree is my chance. This is my chance. Come on. There it is. There it is! Okay, we're standing in the corner, nice! I just need to close myself with blocks! Oh, guys, that worked! As I said, this survival is simply unpredictable. I wouldn't even be surprised if a meteorite just fell on top of me. In any case, the most important thing is that I was able to survive. Oh, I think that's it. I was able to survive. I'll just continue chopping down trees. So, well, I think it's time to get back. Sheep! Oh, sheep! How long have I not seen any sheep? I turned off the rain, so now you can safely walk here. Wow, how quickly the day went by. That's crazy. Crazy. New day. I wanted to start gardening today because as you can see we have a little problem with the farm after the rain But that's okay. I'll fix it up right now. Oh, come on. This puzzle should be dug out all together Even a hoe can't plow it. Oh done and now I just need to plant the wheat It's good that I had some wheat seeds if I didn't have them I don't know what I would do so here I'll put a chest and place everything in it for landscaping our territory and now I think I'll just tear down this old fence all day I kept breaking this fence and because because the bars were very hard to break, it took a very long time. Such a long time, in fact, I had to continue even at night. New day, new morning. I finally started building my wooden and super beautiful fence. I decided to use spruce as the main building block. As for me, it fit best environment. And again, the construction of the fence took quite a lot of time. But for now, I could finally relax. Because we beat the rain and natural disasters were not yet visible on the horizon. I also decided to get some glowstone from the crystal. It's good that there were quite a lot of them around the base. so was able to get a fairly large number of them. On the next day, I was doing the most boring thing imaginable. I was replacing all the pods all with dirt. I feel like there's still a lot of work ahead of me. Of course, there's just too many of them. I also placed grass blocks that I found in that location so that in the future, the whole thing would turn green. And in fact, I was very afraid that this process would take quite a long time. But this was my reaction when I woke up the next day. Look, everything is green. Okay, here I'll hang some vines. I think that'll look very nice. Nice. Here I'm gonna have a kind of paradise of my own. You could even call it an oasis. To be honest, I don't know why the grass grew so quickly. Maybe there's some weird game rules here. I don't know. It's weird. Look, I have some strange sapling in my hand that I found in the chest. Let's plant it and try to grow it with bone meal. One, two, and three. Oh, oh, oh. What a beautiful tree. Yeah, it looks really cool. I'll, I think I'll leave it here. It's gonna decorate our base. For such a huge tree, you have to like this video, guys. Just Look at how big it is. Then I began to run around the territory and plant saplings and grass. In the end, it turned out just great. This of course took a huge amount of resources, especially five stacks of wood. I can say that this is 
one of the most atmospheric buildings out of all of my survival, although it wasn't very difficult to build. Tell me in the comments if you like this project. You can also suggest what kind of things I should build in the future. I'm gonna give you a quick home tour. I have a small lake here. Look at how big my farm is now. I don't have a lot of wheat, so I've planted it randomly. By the way, here's my second warehouse. I sorted everything by resources so that it would be pretty beautiful. Well, and this is my favorite tree. The next morning, I was just harvesting wheat on my farm, when suddenly a text appeared in the chat that some kind of rift had appeared at new coordinates. I was just in shock because the old events haven't even ended yet, and I'm already getting new ones. I didn't waste much time and decided to deal with this fault straight away. Anatoly, you're coming with me. Volodya, I'm sorry, I can't take you this time. I know we had some faults appear here and there, but it never specified the location in the chat. That's a bit strange. Honestly, this is one of the most fulfilling survivals in the history of my YouTube channel. Every day, absolutely every single one, I couldn't imagine what would happen tomorrow. We've already survived both tornadoes, radioactive rain, and tsunami, and every single day the environment becomes more and more severe. I even wondered if I could survive until day 100. On the following day, I finally reached this fault. Deciding to go down into it, I realized that not everything is so simple. It turns out that some kind of temple appeared inside. Okay guys, I can't even imagine what's coming next. I'm not even surprised at all here. There's glowing blocks everywhere. Wow. Guys, I have a cool idea. The size of this underground fortress is simply unheard of. On the inside, it's probably way bigger than it seems at first glance. And let's jump! Ugh. As usual. Look, some kind of mummy is already creeping towards me. There's several of them. Oh my god. Okay, I think that's it. No, that's not it. Another one. Having barely fought off the mummies, I used almost all my ammo. So, there's a message saying there. Okay, I'll just go the other way. Another mummy. All right, let's go down. There's some kind of acid candles all around. Oh, at least the golden apple and ammo are helping me out. Thus, I ended up in an ancient underground labyrinth. The most important question was why I came here and what the final reward will be for completing this temple. Personally, I would like to find a lever that would make the whole map green again, and I had to spend several days in the labyrinth. Yeah, I found all sorts of boxes with so many treasures and all sorts of traps, as well as mummies, but I couldn't find a way out for a very long time. Oh my god, this place again! It feels like I'm walking in circles. Everything just looks too similar. Also, these mummies are everywhere all the time. Oh, what kind of string is this? I haven't seen it before. Okay, green skeleton, note. What is this? A treasure chest? Okay, let's read the note first. If you're reading this, chances are I'm already dead. I heard my leg in the trap and I can't get out, but I managed to translate a strange papyrus. It turned out to be a prediction that said that the world would end. First, monsters will come to earth and cataclysms will begin. And then a massive release of solar energy will scorch the entire planet. Nobody will be able to survive. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little bit scared. So, okay, I'll deal with that later. We actually have some kind of sarcophagus here and with some kind of thing- Oh, oh, what? Where did this thing come from? Where did they come from? Another one? How many of them are there? Oh my god, another one! What are these traps? Apparently, by opening the sarcophagus and taking the artifact, I enraged the pharaoh, and he directed these mummies to kill me. One HP! Oh my god, what was that? Another chest, look! What? Golden apples, figurines, golden carrots. There were so many treasures in this tomb that I simply didn't have enough inventory space to carry it all away. First of all, of course, I decided to collect all the gold and then I hope that I'll use it for something later. One of my ideas is to make a treasury right in my base. I think it would look really cool as a decoration because this treasury contained all sorts of decorative blocks. I need more gold! Oh, another set of armor. Well, let me try it. Well, what do I look like? I think I look like a real pharaoh. I couldn't find a way out of this temple right away, but as soon as I got out, I immediately ran back to my airport. I really wanted to build my own treasury. So guys, this is that item that I found in the treasury. Look, I stand right here, right click, move any distance, right click again, and then boom, teleport. Cool, right? It's some kind of teleportation device. When I was returning home, I noticed some kind of city on the horizon. Is that some kind of city? Uh, my inventory is full. Okay, I'll put a mark right here, a dot with this teleporter, and come back here a little bit later. I returned to my base only in the evening. First, I went to the warehouse and of course sorted out all my resources. And then, I finally went to bed. Oh no, I almost forgot to put Anatoly back in his place.
I decided to make the entry to the treasury from the storage unit. I couldn't think of a safer entrance for this place. After a little reflection on how I would make it work, I got down to business. To be honest, this survival is pretty amazing. I couldn't even imagine that from the beginning that survival on an airplane would contain some temples, an apocalypse, a tsunami, a flood, and in general everything that I personally love so much in my survival. I spent two whole days making this treasury, and now look at the results. Okay, let's go down. Just look at this beauty. All my treasures are here. <laughs> I'm eating golden carrots. I'm so rich. I also made myself some iron armor because for some reason the gold one placed the effect of bad luck on. Well, now I think that we're ready to go to that very city. Oh, come on. Where's this thing? Oh, here it is. Great. Okay, we're here. What is that snot on the buildings? Uh, there's some guy sitting there. Wait, can I talk to him? Hello, survivor. But what's the point now? We're all doomed. What are you talking about? I was a scientist and after the flood happened, we studied solar flares and it turned out that the world would soon end. Another outbreak will destroy all life on the planet. So what should I do? There's nothing to be done, but there's something else. The tsunami may return if the nearby dam is not fixed. I think it will last another two days at most. Items will be needed for repair can be found in the city, so at least we live longer. If you do that, I'll give you the keys to that hangar over there. There's a surprise waiting for you. Apparently since the dialogue with this NPC, we have two days left to save the world from another flood. I had to act quick. I think he's talking about this anger. Okay, first we need to find some things to fix the dam and to find where it is. A marker appeared on the map and I think that's where the dam is located. Looting this city was not easy because the longer I was exploring it, the more monstrous spawned around. Okay, they're already attacking me. Fine. I have a sniper rifle and it's kind of saving me. And there's not too many of them here. Okay. Liquid sensor and iron ingots. This might come in handy. Andy. These mutants are here too, I see. The monsters continue to spawn and my ammo was slowly starting to run out. I only had enough to clear a couple more houses and I decided to get out of here because it was becoming quite dangerous. Okay, I think that we need to get out of here because there's just crowds of them here. Okay guys, I'm not ready to risk my survival. I gotta get out of here. I don't understand how they're still spawning. I see the mark and I think that's the dam. I'll try to get there by evening. I don't want another flood so we need to get there as soon as possible. Of course, it was necessary to repair this dam, but then I didn't know what it would do. For this survival, we've already experienced a huge number of different natural disasters. But there is only one that I fear most. This is another tsunami. So we had to try to solve the problem before it happened. Nice, I've made it to the top. There's another message here. Repair requires a screwdriver, a liquid sensor, and 16... What? How many stacks of cobblestone? Look, I have both a screwdriver and a liquid sensor. But where do I get 16? 16 stacks of cobblestone. All right, there's no time to waste. The pickaxe is with me, so I'll start mining right here. Without any enchantments or haste, I had to mine up 16 stacks of cobblestone in one day. I didn't find anything better than just mine. Mine without stopping for a very long time. Because if there is a goal and you really want to achieve it, whether it's in real life or in Minecraft trying to get cobblestone, then everything is possible. I made it by nightfall and I got all 16 stacks. Finally, guys, I got it. That's it guys here they are all right clicking oh okay all the cobblestone was used i hope everything is fine now as i got it monsters didn't spawn near this dam so i just waited out the night right on top of it let's go oh look the dam is fixed wow how good is my team in terms of development teleporting back to the city using the artifact i decided not to go into the hangar straight away but i first wanted to return to my base but you can't even imagine what happened when i came back home a very big surprise was awaiting Oh my god, wait, what is that? Where did it come from? Oh my god, is that a crashed plane? This is some kind of shuttle, look. How is this even possible, what? Okay, there's a note here, let's read it. We studied the solar radiation in orbit for 50 days. In short, the Earth will soon end. We can only escape in space, but we don't have enough fuel and resources to hold out for some more time. So we're coming back to Earth in order to replenish our supplies and fly away forever. What? What kind of plot twist is this? To repair this shuttle, you need six iron blocks 60 phone redstone dust and one der, der, f, th, th, and this weird thing I don't know yes it seems that soon we'll replace the plane with a space shuttle the question is will I have the time to fix it and find this component will I be able to fly away or will our survival end right here Zeman was with you thanks for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as usual all the links are in the description the new episode is coming soon see you later bye bye